success is not a straight line, then what is it? You see, the definition of success may vary from person to person. For some, it's money. For some, it's fame. For some, it's power. For some, it's sheer, sheer happiness in life. But irrespective of what your definition is, the path is never a straight line. How do I say it with so much conviction? Because I am a real life living example of this statement. People ask me how I started Kosha, why I started Kosha. I always answer in one simple line. It's a love story. In May 2017, I graduated from Symbiosis. It was a very bad time in my life. My family was going through a huge financial crisis, so much so that we lost everything. No house, no cars, no assets, nothing. It was very important for me to decide which career I had to choose, not just for my survival, but for my family's survival. My father used to be a pollution control consultant in his earlier days, very well known in his field, and his close friends knew about his expertise. One fine day, he gets a call. One of his friends were facing a problem regarding wastewater generation in his factories, and they wanted help. My father asked me, do you want to tag along? I said, yes, let's go. I went with him. As I was exploring the factory, I saw my dad transforming a toxic gray wastewater into crystal clear water. It was as if bislary water. I was like, wow, this is so magical. I went to my dad and I asked, what did you do? My dad laughed and said, this is no magic. This is science. And this is how you change the world. At that exact moment, I fell in love. I fell in love with the career that I wanted to be in. And I knew this is how I wanted to create an impact in this world. For the next one year, I followed my dad. I begged him to train me, to give me all his knowledge. I took private science classes. And in May 2018, I founded Kosha Analytics Private Limited. Now, after founding it, of course, I needed clients. I needed revenue. So I hustled and I got my first client. It was a small marriage garden on the outskirts of Indore. It was my first project. I was really nervous and I hit a couple of roadblocks. I asked my dad for help and he said, this is your plant. This is your site. Do it. Get inside that tank and fix the plumbing network. I looked at him and I said, what? I can't do that. He said, a business owner is not a leader until he knows the basics of his business. So I said, okay. I got that suit and I jumped in that tank. And that was the beginning of my growth story. After that, we hustled, we hustled and we got the clients. But I was not that satisfied. The market was limited in Indore and I wanted to do more. The survival of my family was taken care of. But what about the next step? What about growth? So one day I decided I want to try a metro city. Bigger market, bigger opportunities, more competition. I thought, let me try Bangalore. So I packed my bags, I moved to Bangalore. For three months, I tried, fell flat on my face. No money, no contacts, no clients. All demotivated, I came back to Indore. As I was going back and understanding what went wrong and why, I realized it was a very premature decision. And you know why? Two major disadvantages. One, I did not know the local language. I had to work with plumbers and electricians that did, did not know Hindi and English. They only knew their language and I did not know that. And two, the cost of living was too high. Now, I had no investment. I had no money. So how could I survive? Then I thought, which is a metro city that could convert these two disadvantages into advantages and give me the same kind of opportunities that I expected from Bangalore? Calcutta. It was in front of me. My birthplace. It was the city that gave my dad the exposure that he needed at his earlier days. So I thought it will be similarly kind to me as well. I packed my bags once again and I went to Calcutta. There, I got a virtual office for 3,000 rupees only. I stayed in a PG, traveled in buses and autos because I had no money, ate bare minimum because I had no money, and I hustled and hustled and finally 
got my first client. I was very excited. I was like, this is my break. I, this is what I was waiting for. Let me execute it with full efficiency. So I used to go there on the site, even in the night to supervise the work. Now the clients thought, wow, so much dedication. The business owner is coming and supervising the work. Little did they know, I would shit scared. I just wanted to execute the work really well. And I did. I delivered. And then they referred me. And they referred me again. And they referred me again. Until one day, when I looked back, I had transformed and recycled over 5 lakh kiloliters of wastewater every day since the past five years. I had helped, I had helped save industries from water pollution and air pollution. I had done their environment impact assessment and I had helped them be carbon neutral. I finally got my office in June last year. Today, I stand in front of you as the proud managing director and CEO of one of a kind environmental engineering company in this country with presence in over three cities, Indore, Kolkata, and Bangalore. I have over 50 employees. Today, I stand in front of you as an environmental consultant who has had the opportunity to work with brands like Taj, Hayat Hotels, Hindustan and Nautics Limited, Sale, and many others. Today, I stand in front of you as a woman entrepreneur who has infiltrated a male-dominated engineering industry. Today, I stand in front of you as a business owner and a leader who has initiated training programs to introduce women plumbers and electricians in this market, which let me tell you, is uncommon not only in India, but in this entire world. How did that girl in 2017, who had no money to survive, reach here? As I said, success is not a clear path. It's a journey of ups and downs. It's not about the obstacles you face. It's about what you do when you face them. Do you sink or do you get back up? It's about the resilience, the determination, the discipline, the dedication. I will again say, I'm not successful, not just yet, but I will be one day. And you know why? No matter how many times life punches me, I will always punch back twice harder. Thank you.